both of what we are showcasing kind of highlights different ways in which you can work with textiles. So the process is pretty different. Um, I'll let Jill speak to the, her own process, but what I'm showing is uh, block printing on textiles, and that's more of a you know an on top of process. So the stamps are individual stamps that are then inked, and then one at a time are pu pushed down. So whatever that image is, it can be repeated. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, a synergistic approach to the Urbana Public Arts Program's Artists of the Corridor, as work from both Laura Orr and Jill Miller is on display. I batik, and that is painting with melted wax. So everything starts out white. I wax what I don't want to get dyed. So everything that's covered with wax will, will stay the original color, usually white, start with white and uh, the rest of the fabric gets, gets dyed whatever color I'm dyeing. And then I'm also doing some shibori, which I have right here, and that is kind of like tie-dye. There are different styles of that. You can, you can do a stitch technique, um, you can fold it and clamp it, and uh, so I'm having fun with that too, but, but everything else here is, is the batik. The textile artwork can be seen at City Hall at 400 South Vine in Urbana and the Urbana Free Library. It will remain on display until December 17th. Laura and Jill will also be speaking about their work during an artist talk on December 6th at the library. Both are appreciative of the support the City of Urbana provides artists. I think in any way that we can encourage people to know that artists exist in this community yes. and that there are quite a few of us that we're all doing very different things, um, that it is alive and well, are, that's important and I think that only by having, you know, by having a public arts program that only enhances that, that only encourages that um, and brings people you know, into the fray of this art community. For more information on the Urbana Public Arts Program and how the city is supporting arts in our community, visit urbanaillinois.us.